Let me see if he does it with the third one. Not in your face. I did everything I needed last night to get the stream ready. All I had to do was drink my my, my stuff. But we gotta continue the story, y'all. What? Well, Norman. And we're gonna continue the story. Baby, baby, flashback. My baby boy. I might make a test somewhere you're open. A toast to Lisa. And to you. Not bad. I'm dropping shit. Because uh, apparently my next mesh is to carry mama's body. Anyways, welcome to the stream, y'all. Rad. How am I going to do this one? All right, Sam. Take care of her. And don't worry, she won't go necro. 
knowing I'm special. Be funny if these ha of ours ended up being the key to saving us all. Pleasant journey. restrictions lifted. Mas ele mesmo lá. Man, people on my server ain't building shit, dog. I built like almost all the roads in this. You see that road over there? I built that shit. Why does everybody's lab have to be like up in the mountains somewhere? This is like a stereotypical like freaking scientist thing. I'm gonna build me a scientific lab in the middle of the fucking mountain. Whoa! And look, I got 25 likes for this thing. Sweet. How's everybody in the chat doing? There's a time for everything. This ain't it.
that's a uh, dead body. Close enough. What the fuck is wrong with you, Sam? How you doing, British? Happy New Year's, man. I don't know. Cause I'm an Amazon Prime delivery guy. Cause you know he did, you know this guy delivered packages. My girlfriend thought it was funny, so it stayed like that. I'm really gonna have to like it. What am I gonna have to carry though? Yeah, that's my guess. I see. Carrying on back. Come on. I see. What's on my. technically need this and mostly it's already gone like already like rusted anyway so I can just leave everything behind except for the body let me see let me just take the least rusted gun with me let me see can I even oh I can't even put one gun oh well, oh, well I'll just I'll just leave that to the internet then whoever needs it on the internet y'all got some guns I could make some more it's no big deal. I got like a couple of them in my thing. Oh well. I got some grenades on my bag just in case I do get into a BT fight. What the? Who, who puts a ladder like this?
Yo, who puts a ladder like this for real? Mr. What's this dude's name? Cook Electric 124. What the hell, dude? What the fuck? What the fuck? Let me see if I can make something out of something. Whoa! Oh, wow. Looks like you're coming with me after all. Uh. Let's get a move on. That's because he's mostly alone out there in the world. Like, all you do is deliver stuff and you're by yourself. And like, you don't really interact with other people. So he has to kind of talk to himself just to make himself feel better. It's like, have you ever like, you know, like had an argument with yourself in the shower? It's that type of deal. Okay, I feel like stuff is happening now. Okay, this is looking like the right way to me. And then I have to sacrifice my little floating cart. Because he knows he can do better, I think. I'm trying to be careful. Oh, Cause I'm supposed to go here. Like if I go here. I don't know, I'll find my way. That's all I 
aid. I wouldn't be surprised. I like I mess it up. Like how many? I've already slipped a couple of times. I probably damaged the body. Yep, yeah, I've damaged the body. Like eight percent damage. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I might have. I might have just damaged it more just by laughing, being an idiot. I feel like I'm just being extra. I'm just like. I feel like I'm taking the most dramatic path. Yeah. 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 What the fuck, man? Do, do I even damage the body just sliding down? Oh, I don't. Thank God. What the fuck, man? Which way are you talking about like the yellow one? Oh, you walk the horse. Somebody like the one that's yellow right now, or what? <laughs> oh, I can. That's like my stamina.
que vi es... Somebody's lab is up on top of the freaking mountain and I have to go find this dude. You good, baby? Better be going up the right side this time. Switch up boots. I have no idea, man. Science. They really like supposedly like that fluid doesn't probably because you remember how they say that babies and like animals like dogs sense the supernatural maybe like the fluid helps them not drown or something like that I don't know. Except for BB. BB is a good one.
That must be it over there. That it has to be. Yeah, that's why a lot of people that's why a lot of people are against me using the BB. Cause it, it's technically it can communicate with with the dead basically. Cool, I'm here. Oh, if I'm getting a song, that means I'm doing something, right? Without you, low roar. Me detect the dead, the BTs. I am carrying a lot of weight on me. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. I probably messed up the body up. Seventeen percent damage. Oops. Probably got like a B. I also got a this. See what they're gonna make us do with the body, though. Cutscene time.
is there a timer? Until resuscitation time remaining time. I have no idea. It's like the ver his like the game's version of the U.S., which is still the U.S. You certainly caught me with my pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, please, lay her down there. Still no sign of them. <laughs> you know your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've traveled to and from the sea an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. <laughs> I see myself in that crater. My wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart went heart shape heart? <laughs> no, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time and search for them day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye? Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? If death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Yeah, I don't oh. shake hands, bro. A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. I don't know. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? The other... Ah, <laughs> found it. Behold. Wait, 
Dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yes. What? A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, <laughs> as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions, I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor. A place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, uh, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach. A collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? I don't know, but evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Rest assured, It'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one.
It's so weird. No luck. Visit 218,550. Uh, Sorry, uh, where were we? I don't know, I just like died while we were in the middle of talking. For a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, ablution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one. And intercourse, I suppose, verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films? You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. Or from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all the uh. time. Nothing more. Physical intercourse. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my All right. in an accident, too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery out of town well, in the city. about what? But... When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void out. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power and my life support. I woke up on the beach. <laughs> Why are they walking like walking the from walking there? The people who died in the two void outs were there. What am I lying about though?
What happened? What's going on? I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey! It's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please! Don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart. But it's also the reason I'll see them. And the void, uh, basically a big explosion. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny, though. Even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata to tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning. One that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Amelie proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period. <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. I think Higgs is to blame. I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot still a knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. No wonder is cushiony on the floor. Don't worry about him, Sam. Pierre Matt Thor 
absorb the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. Really? Really? Like... Sam, you heard him. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edge Knot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evo Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. A geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs. There the is, Earth. but they rather they still prefer human delivery. Yeah, it's the most recent of the big five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. <laughs> if that is indeed what it is. Then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. One more thing, Sam. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. A Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high-yield explosives. But in case I do, make sure you keep that container in one piece, no matter what. Thermal pad. In 
indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Nah. Especially useful when traversing snow-capped mountains. Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten, but you need to be extremely careful with that antimatter bomb, especially when transporting it by a carrier or vehicle. Any irregularities should trigger an alarm. Don't ignore it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Just watch me mess this up and like blow up the fucking uh, man. Why are they gonna make it seem closer on the map? It's like all the way out of here. And this is like all the way over here. Uh... Sam, so Hartley told you all about the lake. How the attack that created it changed his life forever. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his doom's abilities seem to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that VTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCoy. <laughs> Any matter if it's expensive or not, I don't know, bro. No, no, I'm carrying a bomb in the back.
Oh, that's just easier, like easily accessible. I have no idea, I just made it.
best I get with. What does it do? What does the thermal pad do? Like, I just like made it. Like, what does it do? Like a little, like an icy warm pad. All I need now is one of these storms. That's all I fucking need. All right, you're not the one with the bomb that wants the bomb. Shit. Delivering cargo. Sam Bridges. Oh, thank God for that. I, I was worried you might not get here in time, but then I've done nothing but worry of late. I've been haunted by those visions you doom sufferers see. That end of day stuff. I put the nightmares down to fatigue. The uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me. Uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage. Dying's not an option. My research is nowhere near complete. It's not just my life you're saving here. It's my life's work. I started to wonder if I'd ever see these meds. I guess you really are good at what you do. Dooms is like... Thank you. They're supernatural sense, you know? Like, that's how, like... Supposedly each person has a doom and each person has a different level of dooms. The higher your doom level, like... 
the better your supernatural like sets are. You know, people that have more, you know, connection to the other world. Just like that, I'm part of the UCA, with access to a treasure trove of historical research materials. Studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Assuming I can prove once for all that that's what it is. Honestly though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits and strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Evidence of an ancient death stranding. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelium readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of Corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The Chiral Network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the chiral network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. Good work. New order available. Apparently, man. Uh, now I gotta do is deliver this bomb here. Okay, these are apparently destroyed.
quarter bridges. Weapons restrictions lifted. Safe travels. Apparently it's like a bunch of anchors. locked until departure. Cargo bearer.
Well, we got the bomb there, yeah. Delivering cargo. Much appreciated, friend. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> Not that I need to tell you. <laughs> you did it after all, though I can't for the life of me imagine how. You can set up the chiral network while I work. Oxygen mask. Anyway, as it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. A local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it en route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity. Which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. No wonder you gave me the but oxygen you... mask. You could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. All right. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of bibiparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction. Another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close. So very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further... An oxygen mask, huh? Good idea. It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to keep your balance. If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you to keep it on the whole time. 
but it does. So don't. Restrictions lifted. Almost there.
user's ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. is immaculately preserved. Uncannily, even. <laughs> Thanks for bringing in that lost shipment, Sam. And yes. Did indeed include an ammonite with a bona fide umbilical cord attached. I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis to Hartman via the network. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which lines up with one of his theories. Mm. Anyway, I, I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine, an Evo Devo biologist. Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar, and I think she'd be eager to examine this particular specimen. It's quite remarkable, and that's to your credit. To clarify, she has been studying how the tar may have influenced the development of various organisms. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collectors deployed near her shelter, and deliver them along with the ammonite. It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself, which is why we must impose upon you. By aiding her research, we may yet inch closer to unraveling the secrets of the Death Stranding. We've already made so much progress with the data recovered by the network. With your continued help, I know we can accomplish even more. Good work. New order available. That garrison just seems closer on the map.
Hey, what's how's the chat doing?
We need to get the hell out of here.
past, Sam. Not many people would have even attempted this. May I have a look? Sure. Not a scratch on it. And the tar inside is safe and secure. You do not disappoint, my friend. launcher. Thank you. It goes without saying, but I am convinced that the tar is related to the BTs and the Death Stranding. After all, both it and Timefall are the defining features of the post-stranding ecosystem. Sudden environmental changes such as these invariably lead to the extinction of organisms that fail to adapt. Those that do adapt do so by virtue of enhancers, the regions of DNA that grant successful organisms their advantages. These genetic factors are the key to evolution. But there are genes which have the opposite effect, those which disadvantage organisms. Extinction factors, as they have been called. These are the seeds of advancement and obsolescence. Such factors may lie dormant within us all, a choice waiting to be made for every being since the advent of life itself. If so, then ancient proof may hide deep within the tar, evidence of these genetic decisions that may aid us in navigating our current crossroads. In any event, thanks to you, I can now study the composition of the tar in greater detail. I'll make sure to share any interesting results with you later. Well done, Sam. You furthered our research into the Death Stranding in ways you cannot imagine. Thank you again for bringing me Mama's body, as well as that Ammonite. Speaking of which, my analysis of its umbilical cord is proceeding apace. I've been comparing the data against some of our restored archives. Anyway, would you mind returning to my lab? Preparations are finally complete for the chiral relay integration. If you could collect the necessary materials for the restoration work and bring them here, I would be most grateful. Thank you, fellow porter. Good work. New order available. Liquid MC. Please access delivery terminal port.
No can do, Sam. Structures can't be built that close together. You'll need to settle for a different spot outside the sensor ring. Weapons restrictions lifted. Oh, well, it's like a generator, like right there. Construction complete. Beginning step. And scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until the punch. All clear. Welcome, oh, Sam oh, Porter. Okay, that's a good stopping point for the stream, y'all. Good stopping point. Alrighty, guys. For the people that tuned in, you guys are awesome. That's about that dinner time, though. It's dinner time. Give me something to eat. Well, anyways, people, people that tuned in, you guys are awesome. Welcome to 2020. I don't know how, like, geez, we're in the year Final Fantasy VII Remake and stuff. So let's see what happens. But we're going to finish Death Stranding for sure. I don't know when, how long this game is. What's up, Archer? But anyways, guys, I'll be seeing you guys on the next stream, y'all. Later, guys.